Hey guys, welcome back to another swatch and review. Today we are going to be reviewing the Mermaid at Sea collection from Envy Lacquer that will be launching the 29th at the Indie Shop in LA. All other information will be down below. First up we have Mermaid Hair Don't Care. This is inspired by the infamous Little Mermaid. It is a cream polish with a jelly-like opaqueness best in three coats to show off the copper shimmer or in two thicker coats. That's off my little cheat sheet that Melody sent with her swatch package so let's get into what I think as you can see with this first coat it has a very good coverage talk about grammatically incorrect anyway <laughs> the coverage on this is absolutely beautiful and I cannot stress enough how amazing and smooth this formula it is it is absolutely effortless going in for my second coat here it adds a good deal more depth into the polish absolutely no problems applying this second coat it is I like I cannot emphasize enough how beautiful the formula of this particular polish is it's absolutely stunning the copper shimmer in this one is quite subtle you're not really going to be able to catch it until you get out into the sun but it is stunning it is showing a little bit more red than what it is there are definite orange undertones to this polish anyway it is on my screen the third coat here got me to complete opacity i like i'm still like watching this back i am so shook so shook by how smooth this one is i love this one <laughs> <laughs> Going into the second polish, this is Abalone Crown, inspired by the shell and its iridescence. This is a Crelly, excuse me, light base filled with many different shades of color changing glass flex. It also has the slightest touch of hollow and purple to green shimmer, best in three thin coats or two thicker coats. This is a stunning polish. The color, the iridescent flakes, the shiftiness of it, the, the flashes of different color in this polish are absolutely gorgeous. The formula, however, is quite tricky to work with. You can see here on the first coat that it is very sheer and very tacky. And that is what makes it difficult to work with. Going in with the second coat, you're going to start to see that it's pretty difficult to get a even application with this polish and trying to go thin is just difficult <laughs> um, it's hard to manipulate on the nail it, it wherever you put it is where it likes to stay it doesn't like to be manipulated over the nail at all leaving the finish of the polish um, a bit scattered it kind of skips over the nail and so it's not a smooth even coverage for the color on the nail the third coat here i went in with a little bit of a thicker coat i do have quite the c curve going on and i have a hard time getting those edges right at the end of my free edge again a beautiful polish if you do purchase this one i suggest putting a a, a bit of thinner in it thinning this polish out will make for a much easier smoother application the color of it though is absolutely beautiful that bit on the corner of my free edge there that is a flake it's a glitter it's not a bald spot moving on to the next one this is sea foam and around inspired by melody's favorite color mint i wanted to capture a fun interpretation of the sun hitting tropical waters the polish has an array of micro flake shimmer and glitters best in two coats I adore this polish. It goes on so smooth and so pretty. Another winner as far as the formulation is concerned. And if you guys have been around for a while, you know that I love those milky bases for a Crelly. This one, it, the formulation of this one is a bit more jelly-like than Crelly, but it is a fabulous formula. The first coat is a little patchy in spots, but the second coat completely evens all of that out leaving for a beautiful base this is a true the base color of this is a very very pastel sea foamy green color with the flakes and the tiny micro glitters added into this one it just pops that sea foam and it is absolutely stunning i still have it on my nails i'm obsessed with it it is so smooth and it the glitters and the flakes cause absolutely no texture whatsoever to the nail which is a big thing for me because y'all know i hate texture on my nail this one is just absolutely stunning it is so soft and so pretty
Next up we have Sunset Sta Sands. This is inspired by watching the sunset while on a warm sandy beach. It's a rosy microflake base with color changing glitters and flakes to give it bright red flashes throughout. Best in three thin coats or two thicker coats. Going in for my first coat here. I'm not going in too thick or too thin, just a normal coat. And at one coat, this would make a beautiful topper for any like colored cream polish base. It is absolutely beautiful the way the light plays off of it. It is a true rosy gold base and it just plays so well. I think this would work really well against several skin tones to include mine, which is really hard to do. As you can see, it applies very, very smoothly. It's not sticky, it's not tacky, it doesn't streak or skip on the nail. The formula is beautiful. Going in for this third and final coat, I went in for a bit of a thicker coat to really bump up that opacity. This one is almost opaque in three coats, just barely shy of being fully opaque, but I didn't even care. It is so pretty on the nail, absolutely stunning. Next up is Make Waves. This is inspired by the night sky on the ocean. This is a very glitter heavy polish filled with many types of glitters, hollow flakies and regular flakies too. Because of the thickness, I noticed that one thin coat and then one thick coat works best. For me, I did one thick coat. It was absolutely, and not thick, like not thick, thick. It was just a regular coat. This applied so smooth for me. You can see here that I was running out of polish on my wand. I went back, dipped it in for a little bit more and just went back over the entire nail and it completely covered my nail line. This polish is an absolute stunner. There is so much going on in the base. It is just gorgeous. It is smooth, it is beautiful, and there is no texture on the nail, even with all those flakes and glitters within this polish. Moving on to my personal favorite. This is Don't Be a Sea Witch. This is inspired by Ursula of The Little Mermaid. It has a deep violet base with a bright magenta shift in direct sunlight. Also has scattered hollow along with bright green glass flecks. This is best in three thin coats so that you can avoid streaks. The base of this polish can possibly cause staining to artificial nails or nail mats. Please use a clear base underneath or a good stain fighting base coat. This one is very opaque. As you can see on the first coat, it applies so smooth. Another winner as far as the formula is concerned. It is a tad bit streaky just like sea foam in around but the second coat completely evens it out I was going in rather thin with these I just wanted to see how they would apply and this completely covered my nail line in two easy coats going in for a bit of a thicker one for the second coat you can really really see that scattered hollow on top as well as some of the flakes that are going to be popping out this polish I'm a sucker for purple anyway the formulation on this was absolutely stunning not to mention it was full of hollow and flakies, like call me done. Absolutely stunning. Look at that shift in that polish. So beautiful, I am obsessed. Again, all of these will be swatching at the Indie Shop in LA, Friday the 29th, I think Friday is the 29th, it might be Saturday. But these will be going up for sale online, I believe on the 2nd of August. Everything will be linked down below, where you can find them, how much they are, and all that good stuff. So don't forget to check that out. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, guys.